Good day, and welcome to another episode of Masonic Curious. We are in the home of Washington Lodge Number no. 3 in Warren, Rhode Island. And Washington Lodge is an old lodge because it is number no. 3. And they also have a Royal Arch chapter here that also dates back to, I believe, the early 1800s. But today, I'm going to talk to you, basically give you a story. Now, our motto, if you look up our symbol uh, when it comes up on YouTube or on Facebook, motto on the bottom says, Preservation Through Storytelling. Now, John and I have told you tons of different stories, as well as, of course, the various hosts uh, have that uh, have uh, been on the show. But it's more of a description or history. It's not really a story. And I love Masonic stories. Anything that do with a member, with a lodge, with an artifact, uh, to me, it adds to the mystique, the mysterious side of Freemasonry. Uh, you're going to hear all types of stories. Uh, you might have heard the story about how uh, Mason gave a certain Masonic sign and his life was saved. Or perhaps how uh, Brotherin, uh, during the Civil War, uh, on either side of the fence, came together and buried a, a fallen brother. Uh, there are tons of Masonic stories out there. Uh, there are ghost stories and all types of you know, nice little stories to that go with certain buildings and with lodges. But this is a story I want to talk to you about today, about the Royal Arch Chapter Penny. Now, <clears throat> Brother Johnson had did an episode about his Masonic Chapter Penny. And, uh, just recently at Cambridge, uh, both companion Lou and I talked about Chapter Pennies. But this is a story that is associated with the penny. And you sometimes don't hear too many stories associated with an artifact. So the story, the story is short, and it is my hope that some Royal Arch companion out there that's going to hear this will remember it uh, and pass it on to a new Mark Master Mason when he gets his penny in a Royal Arch chapter. And to our brethren across the pond, yes, I know, they are called Mark pennies, not chapter pennies. Uh, each jurisdiction has different names for all types of different stuff. But here in America, we call them chapter pennies, or mason pennies, uh, they go by a whole bunch of names. But this story was told to me some 35 plus years ago when I took my mock master mason degree. A senior companion pulled me aside, and once I received my penny, he told me this story. And I've heard a lot of Masonic stories in my time, but for the last 38 years, I have never forgotten this story. I've never told anybody else so hopefully one of you all out there will pass this on to a new companion. So the story goes that unfortunately I do not know the time period of when this took place, nor do I know the country of which the couple visited. Perhaps a few of you, a few of you may have already heard the story. But it seems that a couple uh, took a trip to South America. Again, don't know what country. While there, the husband fell deathly ill and had to be admitted into the local hospital. Now, unfortunately, the couple did not speak much of the language on the country that they were in. And as the story goes, that no one in the hospital spoke English, nor could they find anybody that spoke English. Frustrated, the husband reached in to his wallet and pulled out his chapter penny and gave it to his wife and said, go find the Masonic Lodge or go find the Masons. And when you do, give them this. Well, she did just that. Uh, and lo and behold, the local Masons were able to find an interpreter for the couple. That's the end of the story. Short and sweet, but it's interesting how an artifact, like a Royal Arch chapter penny, has helped an individual who was deathly ill, at least on the means of finding an interpreter. With that, give us the thumbs up. Remember, watch our channel on YouTube and all the other past episodes. Spread the word. Uh, follow us on Facebook and hit that subscribe button. Thank you.